There's been so much going on in the AI world recently, I thought it'd be a good idea to test back to back a couple of models to see which ones can make the most profitable trading strategies. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Right, okay guys, here we are on my computer. We're gonna be back to back testing Deep Seek today who recently launched their own model that kind of sent waves into the AI world. Deep Seek is a free model which is a great contender against ChatGPT that actually now costs around $200 per month. A couple of days after Deep Seek launched and beat all of the benchmarks, ChatGPT launched O3 Mini and O3 Mini High. So I thought it'd be a good idea to try and build some strategies together to see which ones actually make some profitable strategies. What I've done is I've put together a couple of prompts. First, we're going to be building a simple strategy with a simple risk reward. Everything's going to be back tested on the one hour time frame, and we're going to be looking to see if any of these can actually make profitable trading strategies. So here is my first prompt. We're going to start off with Deep Seek. We're on Deep Seek with Deep Thinking activated here on the R1 model. Write a profitable trading strategy for the one hour time frame in PineScript. I'm going to put PineScript version 5. I do know that the version 6 is out, but I have noticed that version 6 hasn't given us enough time for these models to learn it. So we're going to be using version 5. The requirements is the strategy should identify high probability trade setups, execute trades with clear ex entries, exits and risk management. This should be back testable, including a realistic stop loss, take profit levels, avoid it using any overly simplistic strategies, ensure that it has robust logic and trend identification and trade confirmation. Let's get on to this one here. We're going to give it a go to see how well this actually takes, how long it actually takes. Now, one of the things about DeepSeek is it is a lot slower than coding than the other two models here. Let's put this also in to O3 on ChatGPT. And we're also going to be putting on O3 Mini on ChatGPT, the higher version. Now, the higher version is meant to be a lot better at coding, so let's see how, whether it actually it does provide a great strategy for us. Deep Steak is still thinking about it and going through its logic, which is not a problem as long as we actually get good results on the back at the end. As you can see, the high model is still coding as well. And the actual first model to provide some code is the uh, O3 mini version there. We're going to take that and we're going to put it into trading view to see whether or not it actually makes a good strategy. OK, right. This is our first uh, model. As you can see from the code, it's using EMAs and RSI and ADX looking for a swing back on the for the better stop losses so we're actually going to be using a higher high or higher low for the swing back back which is very interesting we're going to be using risk to reward by the looks of it in the code for our actual take profits uh yep looks pretty good looks pretty good looks pretty good and we go and add it to our charts and we have our first error with this one here let's add this error to chat gpt to see if we can actually fix it and then we're going to go over to the other models right let's try this one here this one is the o3 mini hive model here we're using emas as well surprisingly enough uh we're going to be using the adx i'm not sure whether it's going to have the same problem with the adx it is indeed so so I will actually tell it that this is no good before actually going any further. Uh, giving us pretty much the, exactly the same strategy. Uh, looking for ATRs for our uh, stop losses, which is great. But the take profit is the risk to reward of the ATR instead of our higher highs and higher low look back. Uh, so pretty much the same strategy. I said problems. I'm going give, to uh, give it a little bit of a prompt very quickly because I do realize that this does not have the ADX function. Okay, let's go over to DeepSeek. We're going to leave those two to debug themselves and let's see if what DeepSeek has given us. DeepSeek has given us a trend momentum strategy. We're using a couple of EMAs as well. We're using three EMAs for this one here. We're using the RSI as well, an ATR for the stop loss, and we're using risk reward as well. Uh, the stop loss being a multiplier of the ATR. Very simple strategies, but if they're profitable, they're profitable. Let's see if they're using the ADX here. We're not using the ADX, so let's add this strategy to our charts and see whether or not it's actually profitable. Okay, great. As you can see, this one actually works. So the first successful test for this one was a deep seek that actually managed to code a trading strategy without debugging. Profitable indeed, the equity curve doesn't look great. Let's deep back test as far as we possibly can. To see if that makes any difference. Oh, looking much, much better on deep backtest there. 
Let's try on a couple of other time frames as well to see whether or not it's any better on other time frames. 15 minute looks pretty bad. 30 minute is profitable, but uh, went into a lot of a drawdown. Let's uh, deep back test the 30 minute as well. Profitable as well, but the uh, equity curve needs a bit working on. Let's try a two hour time frame, and the two hour time frame looks absolutely awful. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that in to a spreadsheet that I built so that we can record all of the results here. Deep Seat was the only one to actually make this a profitable trading strategy with one single prompt let's go back over to chat gpt to see whether it's debunked it certainly has but unfortunately it has made a bit of a mess up and also looking through a uh, version four of prime script this wasn't what i was looking for in the slightest and as you can see it's still looking for the uh, ta adx which doesn't exist in version 5 of actual uh, Pine Skipped itself. Let's go and have a look and see if the higher version actually did a better job. Uh, let's have a look here. We have actually got a much better job by the looks of it done. We have the ATR levels. We're looking for stop losses here. Uh, we've got the ADX level. So how does it do the ADX? It still has the ADX level there. Uh, let's see whether it debunked it further down. It didn't indeed. It think, still seems to think that the TA ADX exists. I'm going to put the code back in to prove that it doesn't very quickly let's go over to the strategy tester here let's go let's update on charts and as you can see cannot find the ta adx so obviously this one doesn't exist that one's no good whatsoever it seems that chat gpt has actually failed us right let's move on to test number two where we're going to be looking for something a little bit more elaborate we're going to be looking for something outside of the a uh, the rsis the macd's and the bollinger bands and things like that we're going to look for a trading strategy that is a little bit more complex let's add our prompt here i want to uh, write a profitable trading strategy for the one hour time frame using strong strong risk management use unconventional indicators not the rsi the macd and moving averages we're going to put our plan together let's send this to deep seek to see whether we get a decent result we're also going to do it to chat gpt as well and let's see which one is good now obviously as you can see deep seek does have a long reasoning pattern here it's going through all of its reasoning to try and find some better indicators uh, you can see all the indicators that it's looking at to see whether they're potentially good for the actual markets we're looking at. ChatGPT does hide much more its uh, logic and the, the reasoning behind it. Uh, but let's see what we get with this new a model here we have the o3 mini as you can see it's already coded the strategy and i think it's actually finished so we can see that this one has now used a completely different uh, indicators we have the chop look back indicator a mi ema instead of the ema the mi sum length and the reversal threshold a breakout look back and this strategy is called the mass index choppiness strategy let's give this one a go to see whether it's any good this is actually the o3 mini and not the high version so let's have a look to see whether this one works very well or not we're going to update it on our charts to see what happens we have a ta sum problem we're going to go back unfortunately chat gpt is not doing a very good job at the moment uh, we have two problems here one is the outdated version of uh pine script and we're going to send it our problem here there is an error and i think that chat gpt high has actually finished creating as well while it's debugging we're going to copy that one across over to our charts as well let's copy and paste that in there see whether it's working this one here has given us even a explanation which has caused us a bug i'm just going to remove that so we have an unconventional trading strategy for the one hour time frame we're looking for the fisher transformation length the choppiness look back which is the same as we looked at a minute ago the atr length is going to be for our stop losses i should imagine and our take profit is going to be a risk to reward looks good let's see i know that this isn't going to work either there's two indicators that are missing let's add it on the chart and see whether it will work or not as you can see didn't in the slightest unfortunately chat gtpt is doing an absolutely awful job of uh, coding for pine script i'm going to let it know that there's an error i'm going to give it a second chance like i did before let's see whether this one here is actually working i'm now going to send ChatGPT high a message to say that there's an error with these two errors let's see if it fixes it let's go back over to ChatGPT 3 mini it looks like it's proposing some new code for us i'm going to put it into trading view let's give it a go and see we actually ah 
still didn't manage to do it. Unfortunately, it seems that that isn't working. I'm gonna try upgrading it to version six to see whether we get a version six working. It's still the same problem. Unfortunately, it seems like ChatGPT does not know how to code in FineScript. Let's go back over to DeepSeek, who seems to be doing a much, much better job. Let's go and put DeepSeek through its paces. Let's see whether or not we have a trading strategy that's working. ChatGPT also has a problem. No. What's going on, guys? This, it has three problems. Okay, so I'm going to go back and test again these. Absolutely love reading through the logic behind. As you can see that it's talking to itself like it's a human being. Uh, you can see that it says that FindScript's logic isn't that easy and uh, we were trying to approach it for a different way instead of using the histogram. It's absolutely amazing to see this uh, sort of logic behind uh, what's going on in the background. That's one thing I do like about DeepSeek. I do think that uh, DeepSeek being open source is very bullish for the AI world. Although in the short term, it has been a bit uh, bearish, but this will lead to many more projects inside of AI, uh, ones that I'm actually doing as well in the background. Right, okay, it looks like DeepSeek is actually writing the code for a brand new indicator instead of going back and actually debugging. It's got now the CMO length, the CVO short cycle, the CVO long cycle, and we also have a couple of thresholds here. We're gonna be using percentage per trade, which is great, which means that we're actually gonna be adding a percentage of our portfolio in each trade, and then we have our risk to reward. Looks pretty awesome to me. Let's see whether we finish. We're there, we've even got a plot. Let's go and see if this strategy actually works. Let's update on the chart, fingers crossed. Boom, we have a back test. Great. And we have one single trade. This is the best profitable trading strategy I've ever seen. We have a 100% win rate and one single trade so far. Let's go deep back test it as far as we can. And still only one trade. Not great. I wonder what's going wrong. I will try to debug this and see what's going wrong. Let's add it to our spreadsheet. The two others did a terrible job, but at least we get some results with uh, DeepSeek here. DeepSeek certainly is doing the best job out of all of them so far. I'm going to put a cross on these ones here on test two and test two on the uh, high version of ChatGPT03 uh, as well. Okay, and the final test is going to be the NNFX model. I'm actually going to start new chats here because I think that we should start new chat. Okay, so we're going to be writing a unique profitable trading strategy for the one hour time frame based on the NNFX model. We want one primary indicator that defines trend direction and two or more indicators that confirm our entries, one volume or volatility indicator, a stop loss indicator, a risk reward management system, and also an emergency exit indicator. We're gonna avoid the most common indicators as you can see here. Let's see whether or not DeepSeek can bring us the best trading strategy this time. Gonna add this also to two new chats on mini here and on O3 mini high. Right, let's go. So. Deep Sleep, as always, is still thinking, but if it still takes a lot of time, it doesn't make no difference. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a server error here. I found that if you just reiterate the question, it does actually eventually come back to you. Let's see what happens the second time. ChatGPT is coding away at lightning speed. Let's see whether or not it's done a very good job. And then NFX inspired one hour strategy. We got the Glossian, we have a Glossian, we have our confirmation indicators. The confirmation indicator has been a momentum indicator with the ATR. Uh, number two is a price structure and a breakout of a price structure. Higher going over a recent high with a look back period. We have a volatility indicator, which is our standard devi deviation which is above our previous standy deviation. We do have a exit indicator and we have our emergency exit indicator, which is here, which is position is less than the, uh, the actual Glossium one, which was back here. Okay, great. I'm going to put it into it. It does look good. Let's see whether or not this one actually works when we give it a bit more instructions. Let's see whether ChatGPT has managed to do it. I think it has. Wow, we have a strategy from ChatGPT with 5,104 closed trades, net profit of 0.78, and we have a win rate of 33.31%, but we actually have a strategy which is incredible. Uh, we're on the one hour time frame. Let's give it a go on some other time frames to see or not whether it's any better. We could actually optimize this to try and find some better strategy settings. This one here is profitable as well, although it had a bigger dip in the actual equity curve. Uh, yeah. 
Let's go for a lower time frame to see what happens here as well. No, we're not profitable on lower time frames. Not profitable at all in lower time frames than one hour. Now this was 03 mini, not 03 mini high. So hopefully the high version will give us even a better strategy. Let's go back to the one hour time frame and do a deep back test. And we're going to screenshot that at Congratulations to ChatGPT. We actually have a trading strategy, which is great. ChatGPT, boom. And there we have it. Our first strategy from ChatGPT that actually worked. Okay, let's go back over to OpenAI and see on whether or not we have a second one. We do indeed. We have a, a linear regression indicator strategy with price momentum. Now, the linear regression is going to be our trend direction. Price momentum indicator with a threshold and a normalized deviation. Right. Then we have a volatility filter, which is a great indicator using the ATR. And we have our risk to reward and emergency acceleration a reversal indicator which i've never heard of let's see whether or not this works high hopes now that we had one indicator from chat gpt let's go no what happened ah okay now this is a common problem we do have to put in spaces here to fix this i will fix this one very very quickly update on chart boom we have a second strategy on chat with chat gpt one hour time frame the equity curve looks pretty awful at the beginning but is profitable so let's give it the benefit of doubt let's go and do some deep back testing this strategy actually has a lot of closed trades i'm not sure that we have any uh, actual uh, commission let's add some commission here 0 0.05 let's see if it stays profitable as soon as we add commission as expected it is absolutely awful but we didn't tell it was going to have commission so we're going to give it the benefit of doubt we're going to go here we're going to set it to zero this is one of the problems with all trading strategies is most people forget to add things like commission so yeah looking good chat gpt has probably one of the more profitable looking equity curves let's go over and paste that into the chat gpt high 03 mini we have a strategy from both chat gpt models i'm really excited about this one here but unfortunately the server is still busy for deep seek i'm going to keep trying here Okay, so we did actually get a result from DeepSeek for this. The actual logic, I think it misunderstood the actual prompt because it came up with some really good strategies and then decided that they weren't good enough and then went back and coded something that was absolutely awful. Uh, the code I had to debug uh, completely because I believed in the model at first and thought maybe it'd be worth actually debugging. Uh, so after debugging, this is what we got as a trading strategy. On normal backtest results, it kind of is okay. A lot of sidewards movement, and we did have a bigger pump in the most re in the most recent move up. Our current win rate is 39.5% and we did make 2.1% actual net profit. Obviously, we can play around with this and make it much, much better. Uh, looking at deep back testing, it looks absolutely awful and I kind of regret spending time debugging it. I'm going to put this into our sheet over here. Let's go back over to our spreadsheet. Unfortunately, it did do an absolutely awful job of the NNFX model. What a shame because the other ones were so promising. It seems that it is very, very good at the most simple of strategies. But as soon as we get into a little bit deeper, it doesn't get any good at all. On the contrary, ChatGPT with more instructions actually gave us better results. This one here actually looks pretty good and I will try to optimize and try to make this better and put it into the boilerplate. I'll be looking into the, all of these strategies as we go along to see if we can make them any better. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you don't mind giving it a good old thumbs up, it really does help us to grow our community. Don't forget also you can get all of the David Tick strategies absolutely for free. The links are down in the description down below. Thank you for all the absolutely wonderful support. I will be back here on YouTube a little bit more often in the near future. So without further ado, take keep safe, trade like a boss, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully AI will come out with some more models and we'll be able to test them as we go along. I will build a complete benchmark and make this even better. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Come on, David. Once again, he's gone to call a new strategy. He'll be back in just five minutes. RSI and MAC.